Hello everyone. Hello, Boto. Ciao. <sighs> do, do you see me live? Come here. Do you see me live? Say live? Si. Ah. <laughs> Oh. oh, you are really live. I'm really live. For real? Yeah. You didn't announce it on social media. Nah, that's just a test. So what are you doing? So I will be making something like... Uh, let me show you my purities here. Yeah? So I want to do like some sort of cliff, uh, some sort of uh, structures on the cliff. Probably they're not going to be oh. so high tech because I don't think uh, I have these assets, but uh, the idea is to have like either like a village or something on a cliff. And then uh -huh. you're gonna have multiple routes to get there, so you can either climb, use it to rappel, going on the other side, scout from the other side. So you have plenty of options to. Cool. And then so it's gonna an be interior. A, it's gonna be a bounty, a bit of an interior, a bit of the exterior. Exterior because you have the roof that it's open, you know, yeah. like that. Okay. Cool. 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 And, and what's the narrative behind it? So the narrative what's is the that story is that uh, you know there is a very important person inside that you need to kill yeah. because uh, that's uh, one of the boss of the faction that uh, you are fighting with. Oh, cool! So it's like a stealth mission. I, I just came out with that oh, thing so. now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you sounded like uh, very convinced about it, so. <laughs> I'm uh, very convinced. <sighs> this engine, man. This engine. Also, if you think that the title might might benefit of some changes with your like social media skills, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a 3D environment with a dev. You are the dev? Um, I guess. So funny because most of the shortcuts are the same shortcuts. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> but some, so, some tools are actually better than what we have. So it's kind of interesting. Why? Do you think that there's another team that developed this? Or maybe they... Maybe they tried to... Actually, make it easier for the average user. Yeah, I think the other one. Try to make it easier for the public. <laughs> Why make it harder for actually <laughs> artists that need to work with it every Cause, day? Because we get paid, you know? We have to do some work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Makes sense. So right? they need an excuse to pay for what you do. <laughs> exactly. Pretty much. It's a bit spazzy this engine, I feel like. It's like you click and it moves quickly and it does something very quickly, too quickly. I guess it's the speed I can change, but... but do you like, the, do you like the, the thumbnail? The thumbnail? I didn't see it. Let's see. So for who just joined us, we just updated the thumbnail of our channel. So now they look so much better. The, Which is this one. Also on Twitch? <laughs> look how beautiful uh, they are. I see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> 
pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. My favorite one is the uh, the one uh, about Bishak. <laughs> that I am the little sister. <laughs> <laughs> to save. That was nice. I always picture myself as the bad guy in most of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the good one. How, now, the question is, how do you paint rocks in here? Huh. Paint? Texture? Rocks? Cliff? There we go. Speed. Uh, speed. So, how was your experience with this uh, engine? Mine? Yeah. Uh, uh, very, I uh, actually very bad <laughs> to be sincere about it. I mean, I'm used to the inputs movement, you know, structure of a real engine, and I felt that was so good rather than the one that I tried on the Far Cry editor. I Don't you think it's actually... Well, which one do you prefer? Are you getting used to the one of, with Far Cry so you actually feel more... Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm getting, getting, getting used to it. So like now that I take this uh, editor for the second time, I feel like, oh, I can move kind of thing. That makes <laughs> sense. But the first mm -hmm. time was very like, ah, what is this engine? <laughs> the, the first time that I used this, uh, I never wasn't working for Ubisoft Toronto. So, so now that we use similar technology, it's kind of easier to move on. But around. if you if, if you could choose, <laughs> which one would you take? Between between one, between which one? Between this and uh, I mean Dunia and uh, and Unreal Engine. Well, definitely Unreal Engine. <laughs> see definitely unreal engine so right now i'm trying to create some more organic uh, ledges where we can place that the structure there and it has to kind of mm -hmm. be in the middle but i also want to leave space for a nice view here with a lake or something but at the same time because of the constraints of the map i need to make sure that there is enough space uh, around it to you know to have a different flanking roads to, to get to this location here. Do you know if we, if we can increase the size of the tile? Try uh, more properties? Uh, I think so, but I don't remember right now how. Also, another important thing to do from time to time is to get in game. So let's try to get in game straight away. I think there is some validation things that we need to do in order to get in game. Map validation, which is like spawn point. Let's add the player spawn point. Let's add it uh, here so that we don't have to run around all the time. And then we need, what else do we need? One target. So uh, let's go AI. Let's find this guy, put it here, and let's target. Perfect. And then what else do we need? Uh, extraction zone. So let's add an extraction zone. It's gonna be, I don't know, yeah, for the sake of it. Can I do I can I save? Okay, save map. Oh, so annoying. So basically, uh, so basically, the UI of this uh, editor is so like weird. So every time like I do something, it goes like on the top left <laughs> corner of the monitor, and I can't press OK. And in some windows you can scale them, and by scaling them you can actually you can actually get them in the monitor that you're using. But so, some of them are are uh, not scalable, so it makes it really hard to to get the get the information. Look at the target over there. I can't really find an answer about the map size. No one is giving answer to the people who ask it. 
All right. So because because of the the tiles here, it's it's very. Uh, how do I? Uh, that's that's uh, back to here. <laughs> All right, because we don't have an, a lot of space then, I'm gonna go high here. So we're gonna be at the bottom of the of the mountain, if that makes sense. And uh, put the terrain. Let's use this. Because we wanna try to hide the fact that we are in this like small, in this sort of um, you know, small tiles. There you go. I see that <laughs> so, some slow hand is with us. Hey, slow hand. So you see, we were talking the other day about having something more like dev related. So here you are. So what's the goal here? Do you plan to end it like in one or two hours? It's, it's like a speed, uh, speed run uh, level design. Uh, I think I'll try to end it. Uh, actually, before, let's do this. Let's maybe end it. Yeah. <laughs> I try yeah, to is... end it um, at the end of the day. So after a few hours, I'm gonna stay here for a long time. And for for for, should... I'm not recording it, just like streaming it, because my computer wouldn't be able to record. Oh, so long. And uh, said yeah, we could yeah. actually publish it as a speed uh, speed up version on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe. But yeah, you can still able to move the VOD from uh, Twitch to YouTube, I think, and then you, you should be able to download it too. So maybe if you really want it, you can download it. So the only thing is the compression is not going to be the same as the record. Re mm -hmm. Recording. Find your super secret stream. <laughs> also, I will, I will try to Google, like, in terms of music, if I can play some music. But I couldn't really find much information. Do you know something about it? Well, you can play royalty-free music if you want, but... Uh... You know, if you are not very interested in the VOD, you can uh, play the music you want. In the VOD will be muted. They mute the section where the copyright music is. Ah. It's ah, an automated see. thing. I see, I see. So here I'm trying to add the backdrop so that we don't see it. Uh, we don't see the end of the map. And the reason why I'm going so high is because uh, I want to have a, a sort of like radio tower or something next to the POI so that we can have some sort of vantage point that we can address the um, assess the situation at the at the POI. So that's why I'm going very tall because I don't want that from the from the radio tower you will see behind. And uh, yeah, also here what we can have probably is like a, an entrance to the bunker or something. Even if we're keeping it closed just for the um, the sake of. Uh, Know, adding a bit of Give you sense <laughs> would be really cool because you can play co-op this game would be really cool if you have that option in editor to, to let you play with me when uh when we're going play oh. but i think only published maps can uh yeah maybe probably only published one So I started this map with a like auto generated no like J procedural uh, thing for the environment because uh, I think that's a good pace to start and then uh, we we gonna change now and procedural procedurally generated content in this age is very well used in open world game like every studio is using it and uh, it, it gives you a good pace to start your project with and focus uh, on. Uh, Polishing and working on uh, views and things like that, rather than uh, than other things. Uh, okay, 
so let me let me just paint some uh, some rock use brush constraint minimal slope So this setting is really cool for the brush because it allows you to paint just where you got the slope, so that just where you want the, um, the, the slope. Actually, let's just say it's more like 30 degrees. Yeah. I mean, it's not really cool, actually. Rock cliff mossy. Okay, let's paint the, the mossy one because I think it fits better with this. And let's go back to 20 because uh, we paint 20 before. So I think this texture here match better the type of environment that we're making. So let's use this. Can I increase the all hard coded colors? No. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, grass, uh, we go with a minimum slope, uh, let's say zero. Maximum slope, let's do 30 degrees. In this case, basically, we are telling, are you going to stream on Sunday or just for today? Just for today, it's low end. I was just like, you know, to, outside is raining, so let's stream something. <laughs> So as you can see, the filters are really good, and you can already tell where Nav Mesh would be able to generate and when it's not. So, no, like, you know, painting, telling visually the player where they can go, it's already, it's always like a good thing for, uh, you know, readability of the space. So, thanks to these settings, we can do that. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we can add. Obviously, right now we're using the terrain, but uh, eventually we're gonna dress it with rocks. Like, dress the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one thing that I want here, though, is to have a very steep point. And then on the side, I would like some uh, perfect, some minus one. <gasps> I don't know. Can I type here? Minus one. But I want to create some sort of water drainage thing. Down there, I guess. I have these tools. Okay. Interesting. I'm curious to, to know how long I can uh, listen to this background music. Before <laughs> 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 I get crazy. I sent, I sent to you. Uh, royalty free playlist on Spotify if you want to change uh, the music. What type of music is this? Uh, lo fi. Ah. Like. Chill. Uh, can you hear in the live? I need to add a new input I think. In the live I uh, I listen uh, to the the one uh, of the lounge music that we have usually on the stream. Yeah. Not the new ones.
Ya. <risa> ya, ya. Let me lower a bit of volume for me too, because otherwise I can hear yeah. myself. Isn't that your job, John? Creating memes and such? <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> Thank you, Slowhand. You are too kind. <laughs> too kind. Wait, wait to see on uh, on Tuesday, Slowhand, how many times uh, Boto died. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, his, on his favorite game. Uh, I recorded yesterday the gameplay for uh, Sekiro, and uh, it was a pretty bad run for me. It's like my first time with a soul-like game. I played a little Dark Soul, but I quit after like less than a, one hour. And yesterday gameplay was pretty painful. Jan died twice. Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, six. 18 times rather than twice. Yeah, th there was a moment where uh, I just needed to stop, so I quit the game. <laughs> I, I went for a walk. I needed to search how to defeat the the, the guy that I couldn't handle. I came back, but the result didn't change. <laughs> oh, so I... Yeah, that was uh, very painful for me. <laughs> hey, Richard. How are you? Hello, Richard. So today we are trying, because it's raining outside in Toronto, which is where I'm based. I was like, all right, let me try to see if I still can use the, the editor from Cry Cry. And I'm trying to make a map so that uh, you guys can see the process behind, just for the sake of it. And uh, obviously, if you guys have questions or things, feel free to shout it out and I'll try to explain the best as I can. So right now I'm currently working on the terrain. I just had this like big rock formation behind uh, where the POI is going to be because uh, this is the end of the map. So you can see, we don't want to see like a line there. So I'm trying to cover that. And then the reason why it's so tall is because I want to have an advantage point where players can reach to have uh, an upper end on the POI where the enemies are. Yes, we do finish it, finish the terrain first. Obviously the terrain goes through a lot of iteration throughout the, the game as well. But in general, yeah, we try to came out with a good base with the terrain and then we build from there. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a long stream, so don't expect you guys to stay here, just you know. Because since it's raining, I'm kind of locked inside, and because of uh, this pandemic, we are all locked. Uh, we are like we can't go in public space, so I might as well just you know do some work in the weekend because you know. We got a stress here. 
Ah. Thank you for the strats, Sylvia. <laughs> Obviously, like the rocks here looks very weird, but uh, eventually we're gonna address uh, the, the the more important one, and it will look better. You can see already how more organic uh, this place is becoming, and uh, yeah. Cool. Minimum slope. Let's build the graph 30. And then let's build this zero. And also now it's very clear where the NAS mesh will generate. <laughs> One thing that I don't like right now is how flat this is. So I might curve a bit up just to make it more interesting and to create a hopefully a more um, interesting experience when you come down you don't see the the view much you will see like the pui and then when you get the pui you got whoa that's a nice view so that's what i'm trying to do now let's see uh, what can tool when i use i guess i can just raise this a bit uh, let's use this and uh, no. which one this one by three meter You see now it's not has an interesting shape and some silhouette. I'm gonna go with minus one. So now I think you need to hydrate. We need to hydrate. Oh damn! Like yeah, I need to keep an eye on this. Actually, let me move the chart more close closer to the uh, closer to the right side so that I can see it. I can see about it. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. I feel like we need to remove those points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm hydrated with coffee, so it's not, I guess, the best thing to hydrate about. You know. So yeah, cool, nice rock. Right now, we're gonna keep it like that, but we might also, at some point, uh, going uh, crazy and do something like this where there is a gap here and there is, there's gonna be a bridge which is gonna be really good for channeling the player to the bridge and the player has to go through that but we will see later for now let's leave it like that uh, da, 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 da. Uh, posture check i'm kind of <laughs> hey yo check your posture <laughs> <laughs> you guys should uh, should um, should use those points for the Porto challenge for the spaghetti dance challenge. <laughs> How many points did we did we get with that challenge? Can you tell? With which one? Um... Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell how many? <laughs> how many we reached right now? Yeah. We have uh, uh, six percent and twenty six day left. Oh God! Come on, guys. So not much. And now I'm trying to make these rocks more organic by creating some sort of water erosion, especially here. I think that's a good uh, opportunity to create. Oh my God, it's so painful to move around this thing sometimes. Oh. <laughs> mm. Can I... Is the music too loud or too 
Be quiet. I think it's too quiet right now. Be quiet. How about now? Yeah. I mean, check in a few seconds because the stream takes a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, what music? <laughs> Okay, let's see what, what we're making here. What do we want to make here? A road, a, a river, a lake? What are you guys thinking? I feel like this outpost here would be cool to to overlook on something like a, like a road, like something like I don't know something that they makes sense to uh, to be here and control them. So I might go with the road for now. So let's see the road too. Oh, cool road art. I go the windows on the other monitor, obviously. Oh, oh now I can hear the music pretty well. Hmm. I got some supply. Let's do a double lane for now, and then we see. So we can have it. How does it work? Oh. My, my my voice, voice is, is very loud. loud. Voice is very loud. Ah, I think because you. Get inside the uh, music input. Oh. So what we can have, we can have a river here that goes there and the road that crossed it. And go like that. This is kind of a big deal. How do I generate the road? Is it generated? Oh my god, it's so tiny. You love, certified by the we have a bigger road? And up to 40% off. That means like new products mm -hmm. at better than new prices. With our money back guarantee and Highway. industry leading two year like warranty, Maybe it's get not. the quality you expect from your favorite okay. brands like oh, JBL, Dell, and Breville. Shop smart. So the one thing that we have to do now is to eBay. make sure that the road has the good terrain around it. Damn it, that's small. There are over 300 reasons to get behind the wheel of an Audi certified plus vehicle and yeah, swing into Audi 11. I'm losing the Our sense of scale right now. 300 plus point inspections that make sure single yellow plus vehicles are ready to hit the road. And now you can get a 1% rate reduction on eligible Audi certified plus models. Well, okay. So why buy new when you can get a used Audi? Offers end March 31st, right, cool. 2020. Uh, so yeah, the rain, we need to CPO make sure that it's flat. I mean, it's kind of not on a too steep angle, so I'm gonna use this tool mm. to make it more like safety safety to drive onto this uh, brush here in interpolates uh, the, the slopes of where you're painting and it flattens Sometimes, oh, that's actually cool. A bit of a ridge there. Way, so we need to make sure that it has a lot of buffer around uh, for cars and in general I think when you're making big road there is an echo Grande Libra 64 you should join the disco Libra shut a bit is that an echo with my voice or with uh, someone else's voice With my voice, I think. Because I think you came inside the same input as the music, and uh, yeah, 
right here. Maybe I can mute your other input and see if that... Try... Let, let's see now. Try to say something and let's see if Libra here did the echo. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. I mean, the fact that you did you say three times the same word is not really helpful to check an echo, but good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> So here, I think it's going to be interesting. You're going to have some rocks on the side. I like this thing. You can probably have the rock formation from this side. Con and, uh, let, let's do it instead of just saying. Let's remove a bit of tree here for now. And let's go back to... Uh, but, but what do I want to do? I want to raise a bit by... Really, uh, Also, because we are at the end of the map, we need to have we need to have the, the rock turning on the other side because otherwise it's gonna look weird. Yeah, and then here what we can have we can go hardcore and flat everything here so that we make a nice nice thing and then it goes because we need to turn it, we make it go in that way. Can you import high map with the okay? No, unfortunately not. If that was possible, I would have enjoyed importing some uh, some high map from real world location and then work on that, but unfortunately not. Can you okay. really do that in your... Uh... So again? Do you usually do that in your work? Import eight maps? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Not all the time. But sometimes uh, we start, if if the location we're making is based on a real world location, maybe we start from there and then we work. I don't think you mm. can import custom brushes either. But you got some, like, no, noise. Like, I think with the noise brush, you can... What the... Oh, actually, I don't think you can. You can just add noise. Yeah, it's pretty limited. I think in general, you can't import assets. Because uh, the way this thing is made. I feel like really lucky just to, oh no, just to be able to move. What the hell? Just to move the spline, I feel like I'm already, how can I? Uh, no. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, can I hit the new one? Yes. But I can delete the first point, so I need to create another one to then delete that point. That's smart. Angie with John stream when? <laughs> Don't know? John, when? I'm afraid to speak because I think it's uh, still very loud, my voice on stream, so I'm trying not to speak so much. Can you, for the sake of... Actually, I can lower your volume on Discord, maybe. Let me see. Half a percent? All right, I lower your volume in on this code by half a percent, so it should come in. That is quite. Okay, let's try. Blah, blah, blah. One, two, three. Just whisper. <laughs> okay, I think it's better. I also think Leo volume is a bit low, like 10% lower. My volume is low. Let me increase the gain of my microphone. 
There we go. Is it better now? Yes, nice. So uh, as you can see now, the road goes on that. Uh, the camera in this software, it's interesting. But as you can see, now the road kind of bends on that way. So because of that, now we are um, able to hide the edge of the world, which is, look, shit. You can see that he got that nice sweep around. Pretty cool. Maybe we can, uh, let's see if we have MP uh, raccoon NPC. We got plenty of NPC. Let's see if we have animals. Animals, yeah. No raccoon, so, but we got ducks. <laughs> we can add a duck there. I mean, that, that will go on the NPC budget, so we need to be careful with the, the amount of ducks we're placing, but, uh, but yeah, we can add the ducks there. Obviously, let's see what we can add. We can add, yeah, just, uh, just a duck. Yeah, I'm gonna add a duck there. <laughs> I'm gonna save this. Always saving. Let's go in game. Let's see. Ah, uh, so I think we need we need to go high get like more accord there with the way we we. We scrap the terrain so that we don't see that the road ending in the nothing. But we need to make we need the rock to make a cover at the edge of the wood. Ooh. Again, we're gonna dress with rocks there, so it's gonna be all cool. Oh, well, it's good to see the road. It's already pretty cool, I think. It's good to see the road there. Let's see it, our duck. Where's the duck? Damn, the road is so small. Why is it so small? Maybe, maybe I, I'm doing something wrong with the road. Maybe is there a way to make it bigger? Oh my car flies away! No! No! Oh, killer! Poor thing. What did you? What did you make me do, Libra? And we go on NPC, which is that, which is how we win. Okay, so now we need to go to the exit, which is that. I like this golden marker, so we can play with that. That's cycling roll. <laughs> yeah, you know, the cycling roll that people, they say, oh, we're gonna add cycling roll everywhere. You know, they only add it in the Far Cry editor, not in the real life. <laughs> So let's see what's wrong with our road, because uh, that's way too small. Ah, our road, ah, there you go. Didn't know about that, okay. Now it's more like a highway, perfect. Can I play from here? Explore map, play map. Obviously it will not play from there. Navmesh is, uh, uh, let's say, a layer where NPCs, animals, and everything that moves can walk, fly, or ride on it. So that's important when you have NPCs because without that, they will not be able to walk around. Uh, that's more like a road now. Pretty cool. You see also like this shot here, how cool it is. Like you got the rock on the left coming out, we got some forest, maybe we're gonna make a lake there, and then the road is like sweeping out in the, the rocks. It's very like postcard. Uh, back to arcade editor. Alright, let's fix this road here. I mean this terrain. It would be cool if the road cannot affect the terrain but and it's not in this editor. You'll be surprised Libra but everything is very similar to what we use. <laughs> Which is not a good thing, if you try this edit. So obviously, obviously we don't expect the player to go that far, 
so that's why the the rock is ending that way and the road will go more on the right now let's use the thought tool so the the more highway the road is so in this case apparently we're making an highway the more buffer you should have and and also you should also consider um wait no no that you should also consider the how you angle the turns because um you know small road where the, the speed limit is very slow you can have uh, like 40 degrees turn like almost 90 degrees turns and it's fine because cars are supposed to go on a certain limit but highways if you notice like in every country they are very big and uh, you don't have a sharp turn because otherwise people will crash and you know bad things will happen so we need to make sure that the, like for example here it's very weird angle and we need to make sure that that's more that's so, that has a softer angle so that people going at high speed can turn this thing is so annoying the fact that you cannot move the first point and then you have to create another one it's kind of weird oh something happened here i mean that's cool we got a bit down so maybe we can use that to create some sort of ramp how does the ramp work huh. all right oh we got a bit down Introducing eBay's new certified nice, you guys have some ads too. <laughs> okay, now you see how the road goes behind that and doesn't look too weird. What we can do, we can increase this a bit. There are over 300 reasons to get behind the wheel of an Audi certified plus vehicle at the Spring into Audi event. Our models go through a 300 plus point inspection that makes sure certified plus vehicles are ready to hit the road. It'd be nice if I can save the camera from here so that I don't have to go back and forth. Audi certified plus models. So why buy new yeah, that's you get a used Audi? Right. Offers end March 31st, 2021. Visit audi.ca slash CPO or a dealership to learn more. I mean, for now, I think it does the job. We'll see later, maybe how to improve it. I think that's just the backdrop. So first, let's focus on the... I called Peter managed to jump a skipping on the, rope over 12,000 times in an hour. On the main area. Really? It's a world record. Okay, let's we paint some rocks around there just we to make it more... Spotify premium. Instead of just six skips an hour, premium gives you unlimited skips. So you can jump between tracks as much as you like. Learn more about premium when you tap the banner. Go on, do it for Peter. You know, when you are like driving on a rocky environment and you got this like walls around it and as as we were saying earlier in order to keep the highway very gentle in terms of turns a lot of times they go through land to make it to not to not change the slope too quickly or to to not have turn too sharp and i think in that case worked really well and then we can have you know rocks and things around it just for the sake of it uh, so I'm using 30 degrees because I think 30 degrees is uh, the is where the NAS mesh stops generating. So if we if we paint 30 if we paint grass where it's um what where you, you the players can walk, the NAS mesh will mesh that. So it will be like very readable from a player point of view to understand where things can go and be. Alright, cool, we got that. I'm not really happy still with um with how this road bends. So let me fix it a bit. Let's make it more smooth. Smoother. Also we don't know we don't have an entrance there, so let's quickly do that. Let me remove some tree there. And let me uh, mm, we can use this uh, maybe we can extend this a bit more we can do some sort of things like that what's cool about this tool is that with the control click you can select and sample the height that you want to paint and then 
use that to paint and uh, which is nice because create allows you to create a nice transition okay so even here i think uh, uh yeah i will end there so we can oh, oh. oh my god it's stuck the brush was stuck <laughs> Let's fire a bit. Let's uh, So maybe what we can have here, you see, like you do something, you get inspired. There's like this rock here, and you're like, oh, maybe I can have uh, uh, something that goes under the rock. So here it's gonna be tricky because we're very close to the edge of the wood. But let's add some trees here. Right now we're using like the same trees everywhere, but uh, eventually we will select some trees and have them in, like have like shorter trees or like other type of trees. So you can see how we get this opening here. This is really good to you know, to show that there is a road there and to guide the player there. It's very cool. Hey, how are you doing? God, you could catch one of your dreams. Hey, Samuel. Glad you're here. Yeah, today is just like a random stream because uh, outside Toronto is raining and uh, I'm just like playing with the editor of Far Cry and I'm trying to create a map so that um, maybe there's some information that people can learn from so no right now i'm just doing a pass on the terrain just to make sure that you don't see the boundaries of the world and uh yeah i just have this world which i need to fix but that's where we are at let's add that so now we're adding trees everywhere all around but in general if this is, has some more altitude than the base we should have a different different uh, <laughs> different type of tree yeah toronto is full of puddles right now exactly it's all like shiny and next gen so 
So yeah, the idea is that we're gonna have some sort of uh, POI on top of this ledge here, which is gonna overlook uh, the, the traffic on this road. And then we're gonna add the elements around it to allow player to approach this POI from different location and in different ways. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I go outside and take picture of puddles. Something that they do often. Let's yep. save. Oh, we got a boat again. Do you actually take pictures of puddles? <laughs> yes, I do sometimes. A fetish of yours. Yeah, it's a fetish. When I when I'm outside and like the be the best time to take pictures, as we all know, is uh, the golden hours, which is in the morning when the sun is rising and in the afternoon when the sun is setting. And that's the best time. And if you can catch those out, those hours uh, right after uh, a quick shower, so a bit of rain before, you get like amazing reflection because everything is kind of golden colors. Plus you got this nice reflection everywhere. It's like amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Golden hours is another. Let's add some fog. Fox really helps to create depth to the scene. So for now, let's start it a bit just to get a bit of more depth. We should do a golden hour emoji. Yeah, we will do a, like a sun setting. Yeah, we, we can also change the time of the day here and we will change the time of the day at some point. For now, we're just working on the, on like the main terraforming. But you can see how here gets every, everything gets like very interesting. Well, a bit dark in this case, but the shadows are really nice. You see here, Porto, how we ended up. It's cool, right? That you don't see the road ending there, and you got some. Well, that's uh, that's nice. I like. It's pretty cool. What's uh, what, uh, look at this lighting. That writing is pretty. Oh. Uh, usually in a game you can really change the um, the sun angle, but I mean you can change it. But like if someone decided the sun angle is like that, you can change it because of your environment. But in this case, since we're making something um, something from scratch, we have all freedom. It's pretty cool. Well, that's true. When you do an open world, you you can't actually control lighting. I'm not, used not the to sun. our uh, business.